down between last night and this morning with the president of Haiti. For those of you who don't know, the president of Haiti was found dead this morning, and it was definitely foul play. It was a homicide, straight up assassination. Mm. Uh, details are still pretty scarce. The only most recent detail that we got is that about six, somewhere between six to nine um, suspects were apprehended. They were arrested. And one of them is an American from Florida. From so, Florida? The Florida man? Yeah, Florida man. Oh, again. my Florida, God, Florida, yo. Florida, Florida man made it to Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> Florida oh man God. God. Florida really so, not giving us a good name here, man. Not at all. So I don't know what led them to these suspects or arresting these guys or what evidence they got. But apparently these guys, these six, these five to six guys or whatever, plus this American uh, from Florida, they're saying is somewhat responsible. Um, so obviously, like I said, we don't got a lot of details, so we can't talk about things yeah. like, um, you know, why they did it or whatever. But um, we are going to discuss possible motives. Um, one of the interesting motives that I heard today was from Buja Bantan, the, the Jamaican Buju. reggae artist, one of the biggest artists in the history of reggae music who recently did a 10-year bid. <clears throat> so naturally, um, Bougie Bantan himself, you know, he has a lot of conspiracy theories about America, about COVID. If you follow him on Instagram, he'll talk about it often. It's not, not new. But what he was saying this morning is that he believes this was an inside job because the president of Haiti would not, direct quote from Bougie Bantan, the president of Haiti would not sell COVID to his country. And by that, I guess what he's saying is that the other countries like America, England, other foreign countries and stuff like that, islands, even like Jamaica himself, he was saying basically accepted COVID and sold COVID and the vaccine to their people and mm. participated in the catastrophe that was COVID. And he believes that because Haiti did not participate, that they sent people to deal with him or eliminate him or whatever. Uh, we're going to start with Clay. I'm going to ask you how you feel about that opinion and what you think your personal opinions are as to why this uh, assassination happened. So you can go ahead and tell me what you think yeah um that is new to me and the crazy thing is i follow buju on on uh on instagram so i didn't even see that uh yeah that i think he posted it me. today yeah it was like today yeah, i'm exactly. definitely gonna look for that reaction but hearing that um it's definitely a sad thing um and hey hey i mean call me crazy but i fucking believe it to an extent um you know in terms of it's always not, not to get too far off topic, but it's always been a conversation that I have with people to really think about how COVID even came about. You know what I'm saying? Because not to get too much into that, but just hearing that, just hearing that explanation from Buju, it, I mean, it's, it's sad. And I know a lot of people in Haiti, especially Haiti itself is going through a lot of internal turmoil. You know what I'm saying? The people are always at war. I mean, I believe it. I mean, as far as third world countries go, everybody knows you got to be careful when you when you go outside of America. But like Haiti is one of the places where like people walking around with AKs and, and, and shit like that, like it's regular because it, it, anything can happen. So um, definitely, I hope it doesn't. But I mean, they went into this nigga's house. Bro. He was on the street. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. No, I, know, no, no, I know they went into his house. I know they went to his house, but I'm just saying like, like his so wife much... got shot too. They, they yeah, like I know. shot him in the bed. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it was. An ins I know they got in his house and, you know, killed him in his house. But what I'm saying is I just hope it doesn't erupt Haiti into more into more oh, bullshit. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 like right. from what I've seen, it's been more sorrow and people have been like, you know, yeah, they've been straight. They've been it. straight. They they haven't but, really been going crazy like that. Yeah, apparently. but I definitely pray I, I pray for all my all my fellow Zoes. I got a lot of Haitian friends. Facts. So you know I, I just hope Haiti could hold it down and you know we prosecute them dudes the way they supposed to because that was really fucked up. So in your opinion you're saying you think that uh, what Buja is saying, saying has some leverage. Like you, you feel like that? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, like I said, the COVID thing, we can go into a whole nother topic. But sure. I mean, I mean, hearing that, it, it's it sounds like it, it could have been it could have been possible. I mean, especially if a fucking an American went in and did that shit. And because I seen the video, the two people being carried by the people of Haiti or whatever with their hands tied behind their back, and I would have never thought they were American. Not to judge a book. No, not all of them. That's what I'm saying. But you got not all of them is American. I think about the there's they caught about seven dudes, I believe six or seven. The whole rest yeah, of them, I, I think, see, is I, straight yeah, up. Yeah, I seen one. I seen one. Two of them, the first two were being dragged. yeah. That's what I'm saying. They were black that you saw. They was like no. Black, they look. Black they look. They look Hispanic. Yeah, and that's the weird thing too. I saw Dominican, I saw a still maybe. photo of all the dudes like sitting down with thing, and the most of them looked like they were like Hispanic. Like yeah, they were yeah, like and then and then that's what I heard before anyone was even caught. 
Yeah, and that's what but that's what I thought before anyone was even caught. They said that the most they know is that the people that came in and did the job were were his, were Spanish speaking. So I'm like, yo, I hope DR not trying to beef with Haiti. Like that was my first reaction and thinking to when I heard that news. But, um, yeah, yeah. Man, so, but crazy. Nova, let me get what, what you think. How how you have any opinions on it or any thoughts? So you feel like you know it's just sometimes shit like this happens. Not definitely not just that. I feel like um, it's definitely something sad, more or less. You know what I'm saying? Like the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean like the motive. I'm sorry. I mean like not the situation itself. I mean like the motive as to why it happened. Um, I think there was definitely money involved in some mm-hmm. degree, right. and I think that's definitely the reason for something like this. Like I was just on Netflix the other day watching uh, Denzel Washington's Pelican Brief. I don't know if y'all mm-hmm. ever seen that, yeah, but I've that's like that. that's mm-hmm. almost like spot on. They killed two Supreme Court justices. And it was the White House administration that was behind it. So right. you never know, like you said, like, um, you know, they got a partner to Island with DR. You know, hopefully it's not DR. Hopefully it's not the cartel. Hopefully it's not, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But nonetheless, like, shit happened. It's fucked up. They shot his wife. You know what I'm saying? It just shows yeah. that there's, like, some major problems going on over there that need attention. And, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the, the motive was behind it, I honestly think it's going to come to light, like, soon. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was. Right. True, true. Uh, Brian, how you, what you think about it? You have any opinions or? Uh, man, sad, sad for sure. Prayers to everybody, man. Just prayers to everybody, the families, everybody. Uh, that's just, yeah, that's wild, Jay. I ain't really, I ain't got too much for you. I just want to say prayers and condolences to everybody. Uh, Facts, man. That's, uh, that's most important. Uh, yeah. my, 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 my Don, what about you? My thoughts on it. Um, you know, I, I be trying to stay away from the conspiracy stuff, but sometimes like Word. situations like get you to a point where like there has to be some kind of conspiracy to this situation. You know what I mean? Word. Like these these men apparently went in there they they were fully trained. They can't like Word. you know what I'm saying? Like professionally got into the building and, and assassinated this president and um they killed his wife too right they killed his wife too well, they just shot her she, 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 she didn't die yeah they had to um they she's in florida right now actually i think yeah. they brought it to some flyer miami or fort lauderdale got you got you major miami, trauma yeah. to treat her better got you got you well yeah yeah, yeah. so they, they come in all, you know what i'm saying professional um all and then also they get caught so i'm thinking yeah a, which is weird a, right a because mission. to me if they were so professional, they would have had a clean in and out. That's what they I'm saying. They got in that's clean, but I'm just, how come they couldn't get out clean? That's so, what I... So, so, like, that's what I'm just like, yo, there there has to be some kind of conspiracy. This wasn't just six guys who were just like, hey, let's go assassinate the president. You know what I'm right. saying? They, they, there's, yeah. some, there's some kind of conspiracy behind it because they got in. But then again, I don't know, the plan, uh, this has CIA written all over it. Steven yeah, has a point. Yeah, that's right. that's Yo, it has somebody written all over it because, but then again, then again, it was a suicide mission because these guys got caught immediately after, bro. This wasn't no two, three days uh, found. Maybe they didn't intend on that, but you know, I don't know. It does seem sketchy. It, it seems, seems sketchy so sketchy, like, bro. If it is a conspiracy, though, I feel like it's exactly what was supposed to happen. Like, that's what they wanted. Yeah. And like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can't always look like, at it yeah. where these people, you know, whether they were Hispanic or not, you can't look at them as the ones that are responsible because anybody can easily be hired. And you yes. never know who the person is that's so, hiring that. So, so going what back saying, to the whole COVID thing, you never know. Like, it could be COVID because COVID was, like, such a money-making uh, uh, pandemic that grew our government and so many other governments so much money from being able to, for one, come up with a vaccine, two, come up with these so-called jobs, which are going to increase taxes and just increase inflation overall, like, COVID just literally boosted everything for like the next 10 years for this economy to just start going up and up and up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, everything. You should just, I like, I'm looking up, uh, tic- even plane tickets are at a yeah. ridiculous price right now. Rentals. And it's because, rentals, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, rentals too. And, um, but one, one second, I'm thinking, I'm thinking inside, uh, you made a good point, Kevin, because you, you said, you know what I'm saying? It, like maybe they <clears throat> they wanted to get caught or, it was like planned for them to get caught. Possibly, it could it could be yeah. some kind of crazy yeah. inside could have been somebody job. else, and they were set to get caught. Type shit. Like, yeah, you know, so, what I'm just so, to niggas off. But shit. but yeah, yeah there, there there has to be some kind of conspiracy. This it just don't it don't make sense. No, six six people aren't just gonna like us six. Us we ain't gonna get together and be like, hey, let's go assassinate and go and go do it. You oh yeah, that definitely wasn't some random like. Yeah, it ain't random. randoms. This there's some kind of conspiracy um, behind it. And then there being a random Florida nigga there makes it weird too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
It's crazy, man. But, but you see, the thing is, though, to me, is like if it was some CIA shit or America was involved, I don't even think we would have gotten to this point of knowing about it or who got captured. You get what I'm saying? Like, because America would have made sure they called her, like, yo, shut it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, them our niggas, send them back. You know what I mean? So, but then again, I, then again, the times like of the internet, they know something's gonna slip. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, it ain't gonna get shut down like that. You know, like, look, look, there's a whole bunch of conspiracies out there, even though you can't say which ones are true or not, but. There, there's some true conspiracies out there that people are, you know what I'm saying, fighting over like, yo, this is this is real deal. You know what right. I mean? So it's it's out there, so it's slipping through the cracks. So I don't know. It got it got something written over. I don't, know, over. I don't know if it's the CIA, the DEA, the FBI, yeah, I don't whoever, know what it is. Man, it, 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 I don't there's that money mean. involved, there's definitely the American government involved. Because America yeah. is just a business, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all they care about is money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and um and it's it's crazy. I only thing I'm hoping is that his wife is at least, you know, she makes it. She is she's like she wakes up and she could at least maybe tell him what was said or what happened Facts. when niggas came in, whatever, Facts. you know what I'm saying? But um because I look at Russia, bro. They tried to kill that one dude the other day, the dude that you know, the Russian dude that um I forget, I always forget his name, it's like the N- president the, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. They tried to put, you know, some poison shit in his boxers and he was hospitalized in Germany, you know, they saved him or whatever. So sometimes these things do happen, but they don't go as planned. You know what I mean? And then you kind of just got to backtrack and, and, and the, the government got to make up for whatever went wrong. But this does what, look what, fishy. What everybody needs to do, well, at least a lot of people that's close to the situation, they need to they, they, they need to monitor his wife because if she just passes away randomly and Boom. they get rid of her, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Just like what they said, they, uh, they, what happened to Martin Luther King after he died. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they said that he didn't even die from the bullet. Somebody came and killed him in the hospital. You feel me? That I don't know if it's conspiracy. I, never heard that I heard it's really like really a legit that, thing. Like he didn't die from the, the the shot. He died in the hospital, and somebody killed him in the hospital. Um. So so you know what I'm saying? It, like when the government wants you dead, boy. Yo. Ain't so no, you so, can do about so, it. So people need to just watch <laughs> closely to her. Look at Malcolm X. Look at Fred Hampton. Look Facts. at motherfucking um, exactly exactly. So so it's just a different situation. Hopefully it's not the um, U.S. government. Hopefully it's it's nothing crazy like that. Um, but obviously yeah, we all want to know like, what it is. What happened? If it was like someone, you know, I just would like, other than the, the direct COVID thing, like Bougie was saying, I just don't see why else would anybody want this nigga assassinated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's not one that I've seen in the media making a bunch of ruckus or, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. talking shit or the, like, I, I, to be honest, never even seen a picture or heard this man's name facts, until today facts. when I saw him, yeah, that he had yeah. passed away. You know what I mean? So. It's just very strange, very strange. And he doesn't even seem like a threatening kind of guy or, you know. Right. Hey, black guys, pull up. Um, yeah, definitely something we're going to keep up with. We're going to definitely keep up with it.